We've all seen The Matrix, and if you haven't, then where have you been? Did you not know that we're all living in a simulation? Our every move controlled by AI? Like a giant game of The Sims, only a little more depressing. Maybe that's a little extreme, but it sounds like we're getting uncomfortably close when you think about how advanced technology is nowadays. No, this isn't a Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video, but we are going to be talking about a breakthrough in artificial intelligence research and machine learning, both of which have been topics of great debate in recent years, especially around AI's potential applications and the possible challenges faced with its current uses. AI technology has proven itself to be one of the most innovative, transformative, and eye-opening inventions throughout the history of technology, let alone the history of mankind. And with great power comes great responsibility. If someone were to hand you a 3D piece of origami and asked you how to flatten it, would you be able to do so confidently and without damaging it completely? Well, who could say? The outcome to that scenario would be quite difficult to predict due to the sheer fact that each and every fold in the design has to be compatible with flattening. This is an example of a combinatorial problem involves finding a grouping, ordering, or assignment of a discrete, finite set of objects that satisfies given conditions. Basically, those tough questions that we'd all get in a mass exam that honestly may as well have been written in a foreign language. You know the ones, in how many ways can the people Anna, Babs, Colin, and Dave be arranged? Seriously, what does that even mean? Well, for a group of researchers based in the Netherlands, these confusing questions could now be answered accurately and efficiently with the use of machine learning algorithms. Led by the University of Amsterdam and Research Institute, AMOLF, a new study has shown that artificial intelligence has the potential to predict the properties, as well as helping in the design process of complex functional metamaterials. These machine learning algorithms have demonstrated the ability to predict the properties of combinatorial mechanical metamaterials, which can be controlled to accurately bond, buckle, or bulge. That all sounds great, but what's it for? Well, this is a breakthrough that could find uses in shock absorbers, and even unfolding solar panels located on space satellites. Before we dive deeper into that, let's try to understand what a combinatorial metamaterial actually is. Well, a combinatorial metamaterial can be built up of two or more types or orientations of building blocks. These can deform in a variety of specific ways by applying a mechanical force. These are engineered materials whose properties are established by the geometrical structure, as opposed to their chemical composition. A piece of origami is an example of metamaterial, whose ability to flatten a physical well-proven property is established by the way in which it is folded. In other words, its structure instead of the type of paper it is composed of. Going back to the building blocks, when the blocks are combined and integrated at random, they have the tendency to jam, which means that the material will not buckle under pressure. This is because not all of the blocks are able to deform the way that they want to. When one building block wants to bulge outward, the adjacent building block should be able to squish inward. In order for a metamaterial to easily buckle, all of the deformed building blocks must slot together perfectly, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle and changing a single building block can transform what was originally a floppy metamaterial into something that is rigid. While metamaterials possess a large number of potential applications, it can often become somewhat problematic when it comes to designing and engineering a metamaterial for a specific application, especially as the very properties that combinatorial metamaterials are made up of are highly sensitive to variations in individual blocks. Starting with the scientific set of building blocks, finding out the complete metamaterial properties as a whole for different structures can often come down to trial and error. And doing all of this manually is out of the question. Because of this, the more conventional statistical and numerical approaches are slow and prone to error. 
What this study demonstrated was that machine learning may actually be the solution to their problem, even when given only a fairly small set of examples to learn from. So-called convolutional neural networks could accurately envisage the metamaterial properties of any arrangement of building blocks right down to the smallest detail. Okay, so what's a neural network? A neural network is a method used in artificial intelligence that teaches computers how to process data in a way that is inspired by the human brain. And they are particularly good for pattern recognition, optimization, and classification. This includes handwriting recognition, credit card fraud detection, face recognition, speech recognition, text translation, medical diagnosis, and solutions for huge amounts of data. What the research team in Amsterdam have discovered is the possibility of using artificial intelligence to design new complex metamaterials with properties that could come in handy in the future, as well as assisting in solving combinatorial problems in other circumstances. Where were they when we needed them in school? The discovery by AMOLF and the research team at the University of Amsterdam indicates that the use of artificial intelligence can lead to designing new multifaceted metamaterials, each with their own beneficial properties. Much more generally speaking, applying neural networks to combinatorial issues will enable us to ask even more stimulating and thought-provoking questions. And who knows, maybe they can help us in solving combinatorial issues in other contexts. Meanwhile, on the flip side, the discovery can also help to improve scientists' insight into neural networks themselves by, for example, showing how the complexity of a neural network is associated with the complexity of the issues that it can actually resolve. Author and AMOLF team member Ryan Van Maastrig told Materials Today that the main significance of this work is that we show just how extraordinarily good these networks are at solving complex combinatorial problems. This is really surprising, since all other conventional statistical tools we as physicists are used to using fail for these types of problems. So, combinatorial problems in areas such as the origami that we mentioned at the beginning of the video and the design of the metamaterials involve rate sets of solutions that define complexity in sharply delineated boundaries and configuration space. This extremely clever machine learning tool, which is effectively a black box, can make predictions on whether a particular set of mechanical building blocks slots perfectly together to generate a desired deformation, learning from each test structures which of the building blocks will fit snugly together like two perfect pieces slotting together in a game of Tetris. The machine will then utilize that information to make predictions for other potential structures. Other than being used for mechanical metamaterial, the neural network tool could also be used to find functional structures for any other system, as long as it is built from blocks. This includes proteins that fold and chemical compounds with biological functions. What's next for the team? Well, they now have aspirations to explore inverse design, as their approach will help with contributing in reducing the design space to find much more suitable designs. This far exceeded our expectations, says PhD student Ryan Van Maastricht. The accuracy of the predictions shows us that the neural networks have actually learned the mathematical rules underlying the metamaterial properties, even when we don't know all the rules ourselves.